doing? Hey YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So today we're going to be doing a, I guess it's a review on a $10 spray gun. Uh, a guy from the USA from Florida called Alan Heady, I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly, decided it would be funny to send me out a $10 spray gun. So he sent it out from the US. I think it costs like $25 or $30 to actually get it over to Australia. So. The shipping on that thing's worth like two or three times the um, actual price of the gun itself. So, yeah, look, the first thing I noticed was that it was like covered in oil. Um, not uncommon for really, really cheap spray guns. So, um, if you are to go and get one of these, just make sure you give it a really good soak. Like, I was actually a little bit worried that I was going to like warp all the seals, like the, the cheap plastic seals on the inside of the gun itself uh, when I did actually soak it so you may notice I did put just a bit of a shallow soak just mainly to get the front of it and I gave it a bit of a brush down with the thinners and <laughs> even brushing it down just the thinners on that what would usually be an anodized finish it's like some sort of a partially paint I don't know what it is it's like some sort of a candy paint nearly because it's washing straight off with the thinners as you can see here the coating on it so you know hey it's a 10 dollar spray gun what do you expect out of it really the trigger sticks the air valve sticks on the uh the trigger as well the fan is kind of terrible <laughs> yeah there's not much good to say about this gun other than it's ten dollars like would i recommend it to anyone not really uh if if you just want like a 1k gun or something like that if you want something just spray a bit of uh chassis black with it the things I do for this YouTube channel. <laughs> what am I doing? So as I was saying before, like if you just wanted a gun to spray a little bit of chassis black on spot only or a bit of 1K primer, you know, and you can just leave it in the gun and, you know, it's, it's easily accessible. You can use it whenever you like. Yeah, sure, go for it. But apart from that, it's, it's not going to last, you know. And even, hey, <laughs> for $10, if it lasts a month as a 1K gun, so what, throw it in the bin and buy another one the way I'll look at it. But yeah, look, you're never really going to be able to get uh, consistent good results out of a gun like this. And it's just not going to last. So I, like, I wouldn't go and spray a car with it. I have tried before. I mean, I started off on that petrol flap, as you saw, and it still got uh, wax and silicon all through it. So yeah, I mean, some people have said in previous videos where I did like reviews on the, the fake developers is they're like, oh, it's not the gun's fault that it's covered in oil, well, it's the manufacturer who cover it in oil, you know, so it's it's not my fault <laughs> either, you know, like, I've done my best to try and clean it out, it's still getting silicon out of it, you know. Sure thing, you could spend, I don't know, $20 on <laughs> lots of um, uh, gun cleaning thinners, which is worth more than the spray gun itself, uh, and then flush it right through and then, you know, risk breaking the seals out in the gun, um, or you could just get a half decent spray gun. You know, that's always another option for you. I've actually recently got a ANI. I can't even remember the model number. It was like A1F or something like that. I should do a little video on it. But it's like a $25 suction fed spray gun. One that I actually would recommend for 1K and a black gun. I like to use a suction fed gun for um, 1K products that are, you know, like the 1K primer, edge primer, and for your black, your chassis black, because um, if the 1K settles down to the bottom, it's just in a suction fed gun. You're not having that primer fill up the um, working internals of the gun itself. It's just right down the bottom. Take the pot off or take the spray gun off the pot and then you can uh, give it a stir up and off you go. You don't actually have to clean the entire spray gun out, which does save a little bit of time. So yeah, there's an always options out there, but suction feds are probably the better way to go. If you, if you do want a really cheap spray gun, for a 1K or a black gun, you know, just go a suction fed, just El Cheapo suction fed, same thing. If it lasts for six months or two months, whatever, throw it in the bin and get another one. Anyway, I think we'll call that a vid for this one. Uh, not really much of a review, but yeah, just another government vid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Gunman out.